you, Senator. Senator Blumenthal, you're recognized for your questions. Thanks very much, Mr. Chairman. Uh, as you may know, Senator Hawley and I have authored a framework for protecting the public against some of the perils, I would like to think all of the perils of AI through an oversight entity that would license new models, would require testing and red teaming, require transparency, notice when AI is used, uh, but also accountability on the part of uh, AI companies and a means of enforcement. That's a very rough summary, but the point is that we have been working through the Judiciary Committee, the subcommittee of the Judiciary Committee on privacy, technology, and law. And I want to thank Senator Peters for his focus on AI in this committee as well. But we held a very useful and productive forum yesterday. Um, my hope is that many of the people who came before us in that forum will agree to come before our subcommittee and testify in public under oath uh, and give us the benefit of their views, which they express to us privately as senators, because I think the public has a right to know, and we should be putting these views on the record. Transparency in our process is as important as transparency in the disclosure of how algorithms work, how AIs work, so the public has a better understanding of it. And um, I think we're going to be pursuing our framework, putting it into legislative form. We've gotten tremendously positive response. I would say that almost all the provisions of our framework, in fact, all of them were endorsed by uh, one member of that group yesterday or another. And the vast majority of the group endorsed the core provisions of our framework. So we are making progress. And I think uh, what is important about the chairman's actions here is he's sponsored a bill called the Transparent Automated Governance Act. I don't know whether he's mentioned it yet, but I'm going to be joining as co-sponsor. What it requires is more disclosure to the public about when they encounter AI. And in fact, a subcommittee of this committee, which I chair, Permanent Subcommittee on Investigation, held a hearing recently on Medicare Advantage. Medicare Advantage, which is a government program, health insurance, that provides key coverage for people who are eligible for Medicare, and they can choose to go into this program. And I'm vastly oversimplifying, but not in any way diminishing the key point here, which is Medicare Advantage insurance companies are using AI to make decisions about what they will cover or not. And some of these decisions cause denial of coverage to people who then have to try to access the system to get overruled a decision which essentially is made through AI. I know that I'm somewhat simplifying, but the key here is that AI is making decisions that hugely impact people's lives, often without their knowing it. And that's why the chairman's bill, I think, is so important. Uh, I see a number of you nodding. I hope it's in agreement uh, with my basic point, which is that disclosure is very important here. And uh, I will just ask you, uh, perhaps beginning with Dr. Ghani, uh, would you support a legal obligation for AI companies to disclose when a person is interacting with an AI or decisions being made about them using AI. Absolutely, I think I think it has to be critical, um, and and I think more than that, it's not just disclosing when you're interacting with a system, because you might be interacting with a human that is informed by an AI, um, and so it, it's it's nuanced. But but you have to make sure that if a decision is being supported by AI, it's not just the person knows, but I think even more importantly, they need to have recourse. 
Um, and, and that is that exists in, in other areas. In financial services, um, we've got these things called adverse action notices. When a decision is, decision is made against you for denying you a loan, the bank is supposed to tell you why and then allow you to change those characteristics and then give you the loan if you change that. I think the same thing needs to be present as one example of, of extending the current AI systems. And I think procurement, again, is the perfect vehicle to, to force that. Thank you. Dr. Lee? Thank you, Senator. I, I have to say, when you talk about Medicare Advantage, this is the life I live in, taking home caring to elderly parents who are chronically ill. And I have personally experienced uh, uh, claim denials and uh, getting on the phone forever to talk about all these uh, cases. So yes, I think disclosure is part of a, a systematic approach to how to use these powerful tools intelligently and also responsibly. Um, it's really important to recognize AI as a tool. And every tool can be used to our advantage, but can also have unintended consequences. Uh, for example, we all take airplane rides, and uh, we know there's autopilot in the airplane, yet we know there is enough regulation and disclosure and responsible use to feel safe to a large degree about this. And right now, this technology is so new. We, multi-stakeholders, need to get on the table and uh, have a nuanced approach to these critical issues in high-risk areas, like disclosure, trustworthiness, privacy preserving, all these issues. So yes, thank you for your effort. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Senator. Um, these are issues that are important to the American people. Um, so it, it's just the common sense measures. We realize that we don't want to stifle innovation, but there are guardrails in place that make it important. So thank you. Yes, Senator, I, I also uh, agree with your statements. But I would say also that this is one of the challenges of government contracting is putting the language in the contract versus once the contract is awarded, making sure that these perimeters are followed. And um, it's, it's, it's what I've seen is usually when we award a contract, the focus of trustworthiness on the functionality of the tool itself usually takes a front seat. And then all the planning of how we would do this responsibly sometimes takes a back seat. We focus so much on will this work, will this benefit the users. And so it's, it's not just putting, we're the largest, uh, federal government's the largest buyer in the world. We have so much ability to put forceful language in our contracts. But it is also what happens after the award and the quality assurance measures we are taking to make sure this responsible use is not taking a back seat. Thank you. Mr. Schellenberger? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chairman, again, thank you for your leadership. Uh, the, the Chairman's bill was reported out of the Commerce Committee in July, and uh, disclosure is also an essential part of the framework that Senator Hawley and I have advanced. Uh, I'm looking forward to supporting his bill and perhaps in our efforts to combine our ideas and our forces, taking them up together. But this panel has offered some really important insights and uh, really want to thank you all for being here today. Thanks.